I chose to film on the day that they're mowing the lawn outside. Hey guys, welcome to the Floral Bohemian, your guide to beauty, pets, books, lifestyle, home decor, and more. <gasps> okay, so it's time for another battle of the boxes. Yay! Okay, so this is going to be um, Ipsy versus So Susan. This is a regular glam bag, and then So Susan is really cute. Whichever one kind of like is outweighing the other one in the end is gonna be the winner. Okay, so. I think just because I'm more excited to open So Susan, um, I think I'm going to start with that. So here's the little pouch, and it's perfect because they both come in little pouches too. So <laughs> this is what the pouch looks like, and it's different every month. Um, and this has got like a hot air balloon theme, which is really cute and fun. It costs this much money. <laughs> I don't remember right now, but I'll put it right here. What I got last time, a subtropical palette in Royal Palm by So Susan. So this is an eyeshadow palette and I'm wearing it right now. And it's a really gorgeous palette. It's one of my favorites. It's got like really, 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 really bright like greens and like golds and reds. This thing is the Dream Maker in Popstar by So Susan. So this is the second product by So Susan. And um, it's like a highlighting cream. So like I put it just on the inside of my um eyelids and i kind of like rubbed it down underneath my eyes to highlight underneath the next thing was the caribbean sun in aruba by jelly pong pong a like little travel size blush and bronzer duo and i didn't use too much of it um because i tried to use a different blush that i got from ipsy um, i did a little bit of the bronzer just under here and here and like around my jawline the last thing we got was the creamsicle by trifle cosmetics and this is a really 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 good tasting lip gloss um it's really bright red i'm wearing it on my lips right now i don't have anything else just a little bit of lip liner um but yeah it's really and it tastes really really good i'm gonna shut up and open the box or open the pouch. Oh my gosh, it's packed full. I am so excited to see what's in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I see another thing by Trifle. That's cool. Um, that was the lip gloss that I got last month, which was really cute. Um, cool, so this is April 2020 bag. I'm not gonna look at that yet. I want to be surprised as I pull everything out. This is the Trifle Cosmetics Cream Bar, Creamy Matte Lipstick. I'm excited. Okay, so this is really cute. It um, is like a lip pen, pencil, um, a chunky one. So I actually have a little mirror with me today, which is really cute. I've had this forever. I don't know where I got it, but I really like it. But um, I'm actually gonna use this to put some of it on instead of just doing it blind. This is trifle. Okay. So that's really nice. I like that. And it's super smooth and creamy. This box is looking really good so far. Let's see. Whoa. So, <laughs> ooh, I'm excited. This is also by Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. So this was the blush bronzer duo I got last month. And this is um, a sophisticated eyeshadow palette. I'm really excited to see what this looks like. I love getting eyeshadow palettes. So again, this is vegan, cruelty free. So this is like a more neutral palette. Um, again, it has those really pretty like matte green. I love that matte green. That's one of my new favorites uh, for eyeshadow. <laughs> and it's got like a nice nudie pink, which I really need and some nice browns. Ooh, this is actually perfect because I don't have like some of these colors yet. And these are gorgeous colors. Like those browns are really pretty. Okay. So my sister told me to, when I got a, a new palette, to wipe off my eyeshadow and do it for you guys. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that. So I brought my handy dandy makeup eraser and I'm going to wipe off my eyeshadow and redo it. It didn't all come completely out, but it's good enough. So I'm just going to do a couple of these colors to see what they look like on my face. So I'm going to start with this like matte brown right here um on the top right i'm just gonna go under my eyes with that like really pretty nudie pink i'm gonna try this like darker brown or like the glittery shimmer on the outside. I 
I'm gonna do the matte green like on my lower, or not my lower lid, on my top lid. Okay, so that's really nice. I like this palette a lot. Um, it is very easy to put on. It's very blendable and I feel like I just did it in a couple minutes and it looks pretty good. So, I mean, you can judge for yourself. I like the browns in that one. I really needed some of those colors. So really happy with that one. All right, so let's see what else is in this pouch yay so there's two more items in here so this is also by trifle cosmetics so this is our second trifle cosmetics product for the month um and i am really excited to see what this is it says it's a lip syrup high shine pigmented lip stain very pretty color it looks kind of ro ooh, rose fudge oh my gosh this probably tastes really good because the other um lip gloss Tasted really good. That's really nice. Nice and pink. Nice and rosy. So I'm not gonna use a mirror for this. I'm just gonna dab it on the top. It doesn't taste as good. It tastes more like makeup y, um, if that makes sense. But I wanna see what this looks like. Okay, so it's got like a rosy sheen. Maybe the color underneath is too bright to actually like have it be noticeable as much. So that was it for So Susan. So it was, oh, nope. I was wrong. There's one more, my bad. Um, wow, it feels like we got a lot already and I thought it was done. So that's a good sign. So yeah, um, for my last battle, I was convinced as I was opening the first box that the first box was gonna win. But then I decided the second box um, actually won and I still feel that way. I don't regret my decision from last month. But um, I am curious to see if it happens again because I really, really like this bag a lot. Okay, so this is by Jelly Pong Pong. Okay, cool. So we did get all the same brands from last time. Cosmic Light Multifunctional Pigments. Cool. I don't know what this is either. I really like the packaging of all of the stuff in the Color Curate bag. I think it's really cute. This looks like it's probably a, possibly a travel size or maybe not. Oh, this might be like an eyeshadow. It says cosmic light pulsar multifunctional pigments huh i might have to go to the cue card to read what this actually is oh this might be like some kind of glitter or something it doesn't have a description it just has the title and the value so that doesn't help me at all um <laughs> okay so what the heck is this i already have so much on my eyes i'm just gonna like put this on my hand Ooh, that's pretty i don't know i don't really like have much use for that since it's kind of I don't see much difference from that to like a normal like color in a palette so um yeah I don't know that was a weird product if it was like a different color I might be able to use it on my cheeks or something too but it just seems like since it's like a weird like bluish color I don't know anyways okay so <laughs> So overall, um, I'm going to save the recap for the end to remind you guys of the products I got. So for now, let's go straight into Ipsy. Let me just go over a quick review of what I got last month. The Honey Relax Honey and Propolis Soothing Cream. This was good for red and raw skin and I used it under my armpits because my armpits are extremely raw right now because I'm trying to switch to natural deodorant and it didn't like irritate them or anything. This thing was a Siam sheet mask set. Um, I used one of these, nothing to write home about, but definitely good. This thing was a Wander Beauty eyeshadow in Blossom. So I didn't realize that this was actually an eyeshadow. I thought it was just a highlighter because it was really like just pigmented like a highlighter. And so um, I put it like a little bit on my cheeks. I actually really prefer to use it as a highlighter. <laughs> Um, cause it didn't really show up too well on my like eyes. So, but I thought it was a nice highlighter. So, okay. I'm not impressed with Wander Beauty though. So far, I have to say that, like, I just don't see the quality there. Next thing was Tarte Sequent Hydrating Primer. So I actually 
is the opposite of how I feel about Wander Beauty. I really love Tarte. Really nice quenching primer. Primer I used it uh, before I put my makeup on and it just had like a nice texture. Little Mask of Black Eyeliner. Um, this was like a travel size and it was like a liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm wearing it and it kind of was smudgy, especially when I went underneath the eye. So not my favorite liquid eyeliner for sure. Um, the next thing was the Shayna B Miami Blush in Bellini. A kind of a peachy blush, good for my skin tone. I thought it wouldn't be, but actually is. So I'm gonna try to remember that brand for the future in case I ever see anything by Shayna B Miami again. So that was everything from last month's Ipsy Glam bag, at least in my bag. This is a really cute bag. It's a little bit softer than the color Curate. I think I actually prefer this fabric more. Um, it might be a little bit smaller too, but it has this like cool ring that you can open it with. Um, so I think I prefer the Ipsy pouches to the color Curate pouches. So that's one for Ipsy. So the first thing was outside of the pouch. It's a Murad and this is a hydration nutrient charged water gel. Ooh, it's a nice brand. I like have heard really good things about it. Um, I haven't tried anything by this brand yet. I'm really excited to charge it. I'm to charge. I'm really excited to try it. It's like a moisturizer, I'm assuming. It's 0.25 fluid ounces. So actually I'm not that happy with this. I feel like half an ounce is the minimum amount you should be getting. This is half of what I feel like the minimum should be. I would say so far color curate is in the lead. All right, so let's actually open the pouch and see what's inside the pouch. You can see there's like a pencil sticking out and the rest of the items in there. All right, so since the pencil is kind of sticking out, let me pull that out first. So this says Araceli gel pencil eyeliner in black so let's see what this eyeliner looks like okay so yeah i got one from urban decay i don't remember in which bag but this has a similar um like texture and quality to urban decay so that's very good not a unique product but a good quality product maybe ipsy and color curate are tied this is by ahava ahava is one of those brands that sounds like a few other brands that are out right now this is called 24 karat gold um, mineral mud mask okay cool so it's a mud mask it's 0.51 fluid ounces so it meets my uh, minimum standard for size this product's probably my favorite so far there's two more things in here this is a nail liqueur la lacquer la how do you say that nail lacquer right so this is by context and i want to see the color Ooh, nice okay so i don't have anything like this this is in slow down color number two and it's like a really pretty like kind of neutral purple um it definitely has a strong purple tone so that looks very pretty um i spent a long time like doing my nails yesterday so <laughs> i'm not gonna put any of this on now but i will have this on if i remember <laughs> um for next month cool so i'm happy with that all right so let's see the last thing in here i believe this is the item that i chose so um there's five products total um color curate had four but Color Curate had the palette, so that almost counts as like two, I would say. So I would say like in terms of product number, they're pretty even. Um, okay, so this is by Oriza. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I've heard of this brand, but I actually don't have anything by them yet. So this is cool. Or, or Oriza Beauty, Foiler Alert, and Rose, Rose. So this is a um, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow that's it's supposed to be like very highly pigmented and shiny <laughs> um so let's test this out i'm gonna actually put some on the inner corners of my eyes to see if it functions properly so i'm just gonna squeeze some on my eyes Oops. and then i'll blend with my finger I'm just going across the top of my eyelid. It's very shiny and rosy, so I like it. It's really pretty. Um, cool, okay, so this is gonna be tough. Quick recap of what we got. Um, okay, so by So Susan, we got the so uh, sophisticated palette. We got the like weird bluish eyeshadow, like, powdery stuff we got the trifle lip syrup and we got the um trifle cream bar 
like matte lipstick. Um, okay, so then for Ipsy, we had the um, Murad water cream, which was only a 0.25 ounce. And we got the Oriza Beauty uh, foiler alert alert uh, liquid eyeshadow and rosé. We got the Contact Nail Liquor in um, Slow Down. We got the Ahava 24 Gold Mineral Mud Mask, um, which was half an ounce. Aricelli Gel Pencil Eyeliner for our last item. All right, so I'm just gonna dump everything on the table and really um, make my final judgment because I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Um, I kind of have an idea. So I think um, because I prefer last month's um, color curate and I really actually like a couple of the products. Well, I like a lot of the products in the Ipsy this month. Um, plus, I believe Ipsy is cheaper. So, well, I know it's cheaper. Um, so I think I'm going to have to give it to Ipsy. So I'm surprised. I really like the color curate. Um, but yeah, I think Ipsy definitely wins. Um, I was really happy with some of the products in there. Actually, everything was good. And a couple of the things in the color curate were not so great or like just not so special. So definitely Ipsy gets it this month. So I hope you guys are having a good time at home. Love everyone who's watching this. Thank you so much for watching. If you really want to see more and if you want to support my channel, then don't be afraid to like and subscribe because I'll have be having many more new and interesting unboxings coming up. And um, I think that's it. So I'm going to say goodbye and peace out. Bye. <laughs>